Hey guys, Josh here from Momentum Productions, and today we're going to be talking about what is inside my camera bag. This is something that I haven't talked about ever in any of my videos, and I really want to be transparent with all of you, my YouTube subscribers, and I want to show you exactly what I take with me when I'm on the road. Of course, I can't take studio lighting, I can't take all my microphones, and even all my camera gear. I have to leave a lot of that stuff at home. So hopefully this will influence you on what you should be taking with you when you travel. So for those of you who are wondering, this is the Think Tank Photo Urban Disguise 60 Classic Case. You can find this case at thinktankphoto.com or click on the link in the description box below to purchase it. Let's get started by opening up the case. Inside the case, the first thing you're gonna see is a Gorillapod. This is an absolute must. This is a Joby Ballhead X Gorillapod. And it's just, it's so much fun to use. I use it literally every day. You can use it to mount lights, microphones, cameras, whatever you want. And it grips on to just about anything using these flexible ball joint legs. So if you want to see more information on the Joby Ballhead X tripod, Gorillapod for that matter, click on one of the links that should pop up here in the video and you will be guided to a review video of the Joby Gorillapod. Next up, we have a waterproof cover for my case. This actually comes with a Think Tank photo case, but not all cases have this, so we'll set this aside. After that, we have a DJI remote for the Mavic Pro. That's very important. Under that, I have my Rokinon 14 millimeter lens. Love that lens. Next up, we have some lens covers, body covers for the cameras. We have uh, a Fotga lens adapter from EF mount to E mount. This is a converter. This is very, very important. I still have a few of my Canon lenses for my old 5D Mark II. So I always use this adapter when using Canon lenses on a Sony camera. All right, moving on, we have my Sony A7S with a 24 to 70 Zeiss lens. Now, I usually switch between my Sony a7S and my Sony a7R II. Uh, I travel with both, but I only keep one camera in my bag. Um, it, it just depends on the location that I'm going to. Either I'll bring the a7S with me or the a7R II. My Panasonic GH4 is kept in my rolling Think Tank photo case just as a backup camera to my Sony's. So I'm gonna put that right there. Right next to my a7S camera with its Zeiss lens, I have two DJI Mavic Pro batteries. These are spare batteries. Uh, they give me about, what, 25 minutes of flight time per battery, so that's important to have spares. Next up, we have the DJI Mavic Pro. This is such a cool drone because it's so compact. I can literally put it in any case I want. Look how tiny this thing is. If you want to see my review video of the DJI Mavic Pro, also click on one of these links that should pop up on this video. All right, so the centerpiece of my bag is already all emptied out. Let's go ahead and go to the front of the case. We have this pocket here. Now in this pocket, I just have a few cables. Uh, we have a memory card uh, holder here. We have a charger for my Sony a7S. We have a few connector cables, USB connector cables here. Very important to have those. I have my iPhone clamp adapter to mount onto my Joby Gorillapod. So that's cool for doing selfies or any other type of videoing with my iPhone. And I have a few auxiliary cables in here and a few, I mean quite a few of extra batteries for my Sony A7 cameras. That is done. We're gonna flip up this pocket here. And we're gonna have more accessories uh, such as a car charger for my DJI Mavic Pro. I also have a mini iPhone charging cube here. This cable here goes to my external battery charger. This is actually a universal battery charger that works with my iPhone, works with my Sony cameras. I keep that in here as well. So those are the overall things I keep in my travel case while I'm in an airplane or traveling very, very lightly. And this case is fantastic because it also transforms into a backpack, so I can easily go hiking with this case as well. It's not just a shoulder carrying bag. So if you want to check out this Think Tank photo case, I strongly recommend clicking on the link in the description box below. Check out the case for yourself. And I'm telling you, this is the best shoulder bag 
on the market. You will be so happy with this thing. And you can also check out the review video of this case. Uh, there should be a link that pops up here somewhere as well. So to summarize this video, there are five important things that you need in your travel case. First off, you need a camera with a lens. Then you need a backup lens or just another lens to change the look of the style of your video. Thirdly, you need a ton of extra batteries along with their chargers. Fourthly, don't forget your DJI Mavic Pro. If you don't have one of these kinds of drones, I suggest you buy one because they're light, compact, and they can get you stunning aerial footage. Fifthly, you need your cables and your lens adapters. This is something that I cannot stress enough for every photographer and cinematographer out there. You need to have all of those things. And of course, the sixth thing, I know I said five, but the sixth thing you definitely need is a memory card holder filled with different memory cards. 64 gigs, 32 gigs, doesn't matter. You need a ton of those memory cards with you at all times. I've run into a lot of issues where I had memory cards failing on me and I had to switch to a different memory card. That and a lot of memory cards fill up on me as well and I don't have my laptop with me all the time. So I need to make sure that I have a ton of memory available for me to use. So that is very, very important. So if you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up, like this video, share it with your friends. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also visit my website at capturethemomentum.com. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. If you're a company and you would like me to review your videos on my channel, please email me at info at capturethemomentum.com. Have fun filming and I can't wait to see what you guys create. Take care, bye-bye.